Okay guys, video number two, continuation of my Ergo Ray Shot. I'm going to round the corners a little bit with the file. I won't put too much of that on this video. I'll just show you a few techniques I use. You can watch them. And then after that, I'm going to move it along. Okay? Now, you can always just leave this open and wedge it in with your fingers and hold it. That's what I do a lot of times. It allows you to move it around as you're working on it. Just so you guys know, curved on one side, straight on the other side, so when you see me flipping it, it's because I'm jumping into curved areas. Okay, you see what I've already done in that short amount of time? That's more than enough for what I need. Now I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go finish the rest of it. Now guys, there's already a video on how I sand these with my palm sander, if you will, or oscillating sander or um, orbital sander, whatever you want to call it. Um, you can see I've cleaned the edges up everywhere except the forks. I'm saving the forks and I'm going to do those with the, with the sander because the way Ray ties these, it's very important that you really lightly take off those corners. So I don't want to do something dramatic. Okay, um, so I'm going to use the sander and I may wait till I'm at 220 grit to round those just to be on the safe side and make sure that they all come out right. Um, like I tell everybody, it's best to go slow if you're not sure, because you can always stop if it starts to go wrong and it's still fixable. Whereas if you use some kind of really powerful sander, chances are when you realize it's going wrong, it's too late, okay? So because I don't fully understand how these forks are gonna come out or how they're gonna play, I'm gonna play it by ear. But anyway, I'm gonna take it over there I'm gonna so that you guys can see me start so that you know I'm not lying when I say that's what I'm gonna do next, okay? Okay guys, I'm going to work my way through all the grits. See you in a bit. Okay guys. My hand is up. I got this all the way down to 300 grit on everything. There's one or two spots I'll take out by hand in a minute. But for right now, I need to clean up the fork, which is best done here because I can swap the grits out really fast.
Guys, you've already seen me do this on other forks. So I'm going to pause this while I clean it up. I'll probably go down to 320 like everything else. Now a little bit of sanding. Hand sanding with about 300 grit to just catch a few of the corners. Just catch a few of the corners that are bad. Let me take all this stuff off, guys. I don't need it on. This is just light sanding. Let me get this adjusted right so you guys can see me too. Okay. Now, the best way to do hand sanding is use something like your thumb as a support or something like that that has flesh in it because the flesh allows it to curve a bit and it lets the harder parts of the wood sit where they need to and it lets the bumps get worn out. But anyway, you can see, or curve it in your finger. Okay. Try to go with the grain as best you can, although at this grit, it's almost non-existent. Now, several people have asked me, they say, Dan, why do you go to such a fine grit? Do you really need to? Um, in some ways you do because the character of the wood comes out the finer you sand it. Now, there is a point of what I call diminishing returns. Anything over about 400 grit on wood, you're spinning your wheels. You can sand it all you want. More than that, it's... You put so much effort for very little return, okay? Spend more time with the... 320 or the 400 grit and the hand sander and then a light touch up like this afterwards you know if you're spending more than about five minutes hand sanding after you've done the oscillating sander you're killing yourself okay just my thoughts people okay you do what you guys want uh, those of you who have seen my work know what it looks like when i get done okay i would spend more time Instead of going to the 2,000, 3,000, 10,000 grit sandpaper, I'd spend more time finding little blemishes and taking them out with the 400 grit. Okay? Now, I'm going to do this for a few more minutes, and then I'm going to turn it on and show you guys where we're at, and then finishing will be the next one. Hey, guys. One last final thing. Um, I got to put the grooves in and I don't like putting the grooves in until I've got it pretty much just about sanded because then I know where everything's going to end up. So I've got the groove marks. I'm going to do this for a few seconds for you guys to see and then I'm going to cut this movie off. But I basically got a triangular file. I like triangular grooves. They just work better for me. Okay, got my two lines. gentle just start you know you're in no rush because remember you make a mistake you're screwing up a very crazy sanding job you've done now i'm going to shut this off but as you can see this is taking me a grand total of about an hour